This Roblox game is genuinely illegal. I am not kidding. It's gotten Roblox sued, and the creator of it might even go to jail. But before I talk about that one, there's actually other illegal games on Roblox, like this. I mean, this game looks innocent enough, but Roblox almost got taken down for it. And the reason for it is actually very, very, very dark. Can you guess? It's just like a movie theater, right? It's because of this company right here, Cinemark. You may have been to some of their theaters before in real life. Well, they saw games like this called Cineblox that used to be called stuff like Cinemark and decided to sue Roblox. Now that sounds dumb, right? But it was actually for a very valid reason because users created games, including Cinemark theaters to reenact a tragic event that I can't even show on screen. So Cinemark obviously took it seriously and sued Roblox, which may be why this game has to be called Cineblox instead. I'm exclusively going to be talking about games specifically that have been punished by law. And later in the video, I'll bring up the worst ones. So it's time for case two. You probably play this game, Catalog Avatar Creator, with one billion visits. Now this game looks completely innocent, right? You would not guess that any illegal happenings occurred here. Aside from some of the atrocious drip these people have. What the hell are you? <laughs> and the reason this game got in legal trouble isn't even the game's fault. In May of 2020, 21. Roblox got sued, as you can see here, by somebody claiming that if an item got deleted from your inventory, Roblox was not accurately refunding you for that purchase. Roblox was not giving you the money back. Get scammed, idiot. Roblox had to settle this lawsuit and pay $10 million because the person suing them was right. And games like this unknowingly participated in scamming. And because they didn't know they were involved, games like this managed to escape the legal hammer and stay up because it was not their fault at all, but that is not nearly as bad as this next game. This game that I'm playing right now could get Roblox sued and in serious legal trouble. Some would say that it is illegal to be up. Look around. Can you see why? Does it look like there's anything bad in this game besides this creature there? You are probably familiar with what I'm talking about here. In fact, almost everybody who's ever played Roblox knows about this. The second I turn on the sound, ignore the really loud music playing right now. Listen to this. Hear anything strange? Let me explain. In 2020, this guy, Tommy Tallarico, decided to sue Roblox because that very noise you just heard, the iconic oof sound, was actually something that his company had made. Yeah, that is the original oof sound from a Tommy Tallarico game. This is an official picture of Tommy Tallarico's ownership of the oof noise. So this game right here could be illegal enough to get Roblox sued. But even so, that's not nearly as bad as the next game. And this case is so bad because lots of games are still doing this illegal thing. And if the public catches wind, Roblox could get in serious legal trouble. They already got sued for this before. They could get mega sued again. Now, Take your guesses as to why this game is illegal. I'll go ahead and tell you the title. It's Driving Empire. It's all because of this car, a Lamborghini. I pray I will not get sued for having their logo in my video because apparently they like to do that. Basically, Lamborghini was unhappy with Roblox using their cars, so they decided to sue Roblox. Lamborghini doesn't want their cars in Roblox games. Car crushers removed them along with other games. And you can see in the screenshot, it's true. A lot of Roblox games slowly removed Lamborghinis from them, except for this one. This car is a Lamborghini, and it is in this game. If Lamborghini wants to go in for it, they could be able to sue Roblox because of this game, so it is illegal. <laughs> but not as bad as this next one. Here I am inside of the next illegal Roblox game. The reason this one is so bad is because it is a disaster waiting to happen. The fact Roblox has gotten away with this almost blatant illegal action for so long is impressive. Here, I'll join another one for you. You recognize it? Yeah, it's Blox Fruits. Oh, the most popular Roblox game ever? The first game I was playing was Anime Adventures, which also has 60,000 players. These two games that I just showed you are based off numerous anime properties. In other words, they are using someone else's copyright, which could get them in serious legal trouble, but here's the kicker. They'll slightly change things so they get around the legal system. Like, if you look up Chainsaw in the marketplace, you can find, like, 20 Chainsaw men 
heads. But they don't call them Chainsaw Man. They call them Chainsaw Anime Head. Orange Chainsaw Head. Look, here's copyright infringement on me. What's the name of that shirt? Subscribe. I like to ask at the middle of the video because by now you know if you want to subscribe or not, it's your choice. And you are not allowed to subscribe to this channel unless you're enjoying the video. Only people enjoying the video are allowed to subscribe and I mean it. Now here's where they start to get really bad. The game I'm playing right now is illegal and it is awful because it seriously hurt a lot of innocent people that we probably haven't even heard of yet. And got away scot-free. Yeah, we're in the top five now. So things are gonna start getting really, really bad. And I'm sure you recognize this game already. It's Sonic Speed Simulator. The creator of this game is Game Fam. These guys, I'm sure you've seen their stupid hands somewhere before. They're essentially a corporation designed for making Roblox games and buying up existing Roblox games to sort of hold a weird monopoly over the site. Recently, as of April in 2023, Game Fam got sued. Sonic the Hedgehog Roblox Game Studio can't stop its workers from discussing pay. Yeah, they got sued by their own employees for mistreating them. And since their employees were right, they just decided to settle the lawsuit. So yeah, this game we're playing got sued. But that's still not as bad as this next one. Here we are in another illegal Roblox game. But this one is different from the other items on the list because it is probably the funniest illegal game we will be playing today. A seriously famous celebrity tried to sue Roblox over the games that I'm playing right now. See if you can guess who it is. There's some pictures on this mat here. <laughs> Dude, if they saw this game, they would be mauling. Roblox would not be safe. They would be sued again. That is Kim Kardashian, an America media personality, socialite, businesswoman, model, and actress. Most famous for her TV show, Keeping Up with the Kardashians. And in one episode of her dramatic TV show, her child searched up her name on Roblox and was met with this. Crying Kim Kardashian. And allegedly a very inappropriate game about Kim K herself. Prompting Kim Kardashian to threaten to sue Roblox. Roblox probably won't get into any legal trouble for this one. But it's time to move on to the final three. These are the worst ones. I am currently in a game that got sued. A game that used to be illegal. And Case 8 is awful and memorable. If you were around back when it happened, you probably know how much pain it brought so many players. But see if you can guess why this game was illegal. Hey, I'm Mr. Red Blubber. We need to save the princess. Princess Pink has been kidnapped. Whoa, I can jump on the little gooberts. Yeah, it looks innocent enough. It looks just like a Mario obby, right? On Roblox. Though you may notice they switched all the names. They changed everything to be poorly drawn versions of Mario enemies. And that's because of these guys. Nintendo. Around April 18th, 2018, Nintendo threatened legal action on Roblox for having games like this on the platform. So Pokemon Brick Bronze got deleted. And the old Mario obby that used to look like this with cool question blocks and Goombas from the game now looks like uh, this. <laughs> Yeah, it seriously sucks that Nintendo did that, but it's not as bad as number nine. I'm currently in an illegal game. See if you can guess why. The reason this one is so bad is because it changed Roblox forever, permanently for the worst. And it is probably the most hated feature I'm going to be talking about on this entire list. It doesn't look so bad. Besides a picture of Ariana Grande on the checkpoints for whatever reason. Here, I'll play another game. Take a stab as to why this game is illegal. Besides it just generally sucking really bad. <laughs> Give up yet? Here, let me tell you why. On June 9th, 2021, the National Music Publishers Association sued Roblox on behalf of 12 publishers for the unauthorized use and exploitation of copyrighted music. Basically, big music producers got very cranky at Roblox <laughs> because of copyrighted audio they were using without permission from the producers. So Roblox got sued and those games about Ariana Grande and Cardi B, if you search up Ariana Grande on Roblox, literally no results will show up because you're not allowed to search her name. That's how censored it is on Roblox now. But this next one, the worst one ever, is no laughing matter. I'll cut to the chase. Roblox was sued for child endangerment. This game and games like it actively endanger children on Roblox. Let's play it. This game is essentially a weird, inappropriate slash dating place on Roblox. All these sussy games usually are. Look, right out of spawn, we see this. Now, we don't know exactly what game endangered the child 
filed for the lawsuit they received. But we do know that it was in the vein of this. Some game on Roblox that was made for the purpose of online dating or inappropriate action. So I'm using this game as an example. Let me explain the specific case. Roblox sued for allegedly enabling young girls sexual financial exploitation. I'm not gonna go into specifics because it's horrible. But essentially this young girl on Roblox was being very inappropriately treated by adult men because of games like this. And if Roblox can't get rid of games like this, they will likely be sued in the future for the same thing. But you can see why that is easily the worst case on the list. Now, let me be honest, and some of you may not like what I'm about to say, but I don't think a majority of these lawsuits are bad. Hold on, hold on. I say that as in like, I don't think that it's bad they happened. I don't think it's bad Roblox got sued for these. Because even though a lot of these lawsuits take away games that we enjoy, it's nice knowing that Roblox can't get away with everything. Hell, because of these lawsuits, especially the last one, children and others are more safe than ever on Roblox. And I don't think that's bad at all. Bye!